let's do a simple exercise in solid works chassis screw okay now we have here one front view top view then one section view section a a and here we have one detail view detail b see this uh, cut out okay first we will draw outer body for this board so i'm going to select this uh, front view and uh, you will see this diameter 6 height 3 these height 4.6 and the diameter of this you will observe in section view see 9 millimeter then here there is a gap 0 0.45 horizontal then there is a taper two taper uh, this is curve actually you will observe here 0 0.25 and uh, 10 radius see and you will see the height total height from here to here 9.2 millimeter okay so we will do this first and uh, you will see there is a corner fillet asymmetric r1 r2.35 1 millimeter we will see how we can do this front plane is sketch now i am going to activate line tool go little inside and uh, okay let's exit activate here three point arc make it something like this again let's connect with this something like this okay let's define some Okay, make sure these lines are horizontal. Click and act define the horizontal. A smart dimension. Now overall length 9.2 millimeter. Now this is going to be diameter 6. So 6 divided by 2, it's 3. Height here given 3. Now, this outer diameter defined uh, 9 millimeters, so 9 divided by 2, radius going to be 4.5. This height also defined 4.6. Okay, now, this section defined 0 0.45. It's a simple step. Now, let me define, select these two points. Now, this gap also 0 0.9. That's it. Okay, let me do one thing. Draw one line here, horizontal line. Select this one and this line. And make relation tangent. This is important relation. 2.5. 10. Look. for this and this is for this now look our drawing seems fully defined go to feature and activate revolve boss base and here we need to choose one center axis or axis of revolution so I'm going to select this vertical line see this is going to be the center of axis of revolution for this whole body keep end condition blind because I want to move any one direction you can change direction any because uh, we need to make a complete 360 body say okay and here we go see now chamfer fillet here choose asymmetric one zero point three five now i'm going to select first and second now just see close look see this is a kind of shape we need 135 and profile going to be elliptic say okay and here we achieved this one now see this we achieved now let's make one cutout you will see there is a cutout this cutout 
one millimeter and depth up to this face. Then there is a this cutout. You will see here. These cutout uh, three millimeter and depth seven millimeter from here to here. See this distance. Remember this distance. We will see how we can do this. And uh, okay, let's do this first. So we can't select this face because this is circular face. So I'm going to choose top plane a sketch. Now here I'm going to choose center rectangle. One. Now make sure these lines should be outside. So we don't need to define anything more. Extruded cut. Okay. Offset. Send 10 millimeter above. Now from here to here, this is going to 10 millimeter above. Now blind up to surface. Now up to surface, I'm going to choose this surface. You will see. First, it moves 10 millimeter away. Then this is going to cut only up to surface. Say OK. And see, this is the result what we achieved. Again, I'm going to choose top plane sketch center rectangle is okay smart dimension define this one three millimeter okay now let's define important thing select this internal line and this line equal similarly this horizontal and this vertical equal look it seems fully defined this sketch extruded cut first move this body start offset 10 millimeter this is going uh, somewhere keep blind reverse okay this is going to be 3 millimeter but here we need to choose selected contour because there are too many close profile. So just keep cursor over here and select outer edges. One, two. See here. Now you will see the preview. First we move from here to here 10 millimeter, then 3 millimeter down with the help of this direction. Arrow C. Okay. That's it. Now if you select this face. Hold shift key and select uh, this face. You will see normal distance 7 millimeter. This is what we need to achieve. Okay. Okay. Now here we need to make inside one chamfer. 45 degree 4 corner. Okay. Then 4 corner radius 0.5. See here. And here also one more chamfer. 0 0.145 degree. But this is going to... Oh, let's make it. Chamfer. First, I'm going to make inside. Here, angle distance 1, one into 45 degree. Which internal? Select this internal edge. All four. all four internal corners say okay fill it 0 0.1 into 40 let okay let me choose symmetric okay the fillet is actually 0 0.5 symmetric and select this edge Say okay. Now here we achieved our result. Now chamfer. Angle distance tangent propagation 0 0.1 into 45 degree. 
Now here I am going to choose this internal edge. Select these two edges. Okay. And this is what we achieved. See? If I am going to select front plane, section view, normal, and see, this chamfer we achieved. This is what we need. Cancel. Now, we need to make these uh, splines or uh, this uh, knurling face. You will observe section B. 4.2 millimeter from center. And you will see this is the this is a kind of spline three length of spline point three horizontal point five. There are thirty seven number of patterns. Okay, so I am going to select top plane bottom sketch and uh, okay. Let me draw center line. Okay, choose spline, connect from here to something here, right click exit. Now select the spline. Now change this chart, spline, make 0 0.3 length. One more thing, select this and uh, horizontal okay mirror entity select this spline mirror about this line okay now smart dimension connect these two 0.5 is still not fully defined three point arc and i want to close this Okay, let's keep little outside so that uh, we will remove material easily. Smart dimension. This distance from center, 4.2. Okay, for a temporary basis, just defined anything should be bigger than this. Look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Sex extruded cut now this is moving downward direction change from here and here keep through all you will see this is going to cut through all and this is what we achieved see circular pattern now for direction i am going to choose either axis or any circular body which is uh, going to define for this so i am going to select this circular body equal space 360 and 37 number of patterns feature directly choose you will see the preview say okay and here we go see okay we done from top let's come down now 0 0.5, 0 0.5 these radius, then there is a one point a zero a 3.5 diameter a five circular uh, body going to at attach length up to five millimeter and there is a chamfer also 0 0.2545 45, and this corner chamfer 0.45 into 45 and this is the thread. M 3.5 into 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is a pitch actually. So we need to cut this. Fine. Let's, we can do possible. First, I'm going to select this face, sketch, circle, and draw a circle, 3.5 diameter. This is the outer diameter of thread. Extrude. And let's extrude depth 5 millimeter. Okay, fill it. 0 0.15 and select this face. Okay, now chamfer. First chamfer 0.25. Here choose chamfer type, angle, distance, tangent propagation 4 and select this internal one. 
से ओके अगेन एक्टिवेट चैम्फर एंड दिस टाइम पॉइंट फाइव सिलेक्ट दिस वन सी नाउ हियर वी नीड टू एड थ्रेड सो सिंपली ड्रॉप डाउन हॉरिजोंटल एक्टिवेट थ्रेड ओके नाउ थ्रेड गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट दिस इंटरनल एज नाउ थ्रेड गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर टू डाउनवर्ड नाउ कम डाउन एंड कंडीशन लेट से ब्लाइंड लेंथ सिक्स मिलीमीटर सी दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सिक्स मिलीमीटर नाउ वट टाइप ऑफ लेंथ वट टाइप ऑफ थ्रेड गोइंग टू मेक हियर इधर एड टेप और कट थ्रेड सो आई एम गोइंग टू कट थ्रेड सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू चूज मेट्रिक डाई बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू कट नाउ दिस इज द साइज एम थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इंटू पॉइंट सिक्स स्पिच वी नीड टू कट थ्रेड नाउ राइट हैंड थ्रेड नाउ लुक दिस एक्स्ट्रा थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू रिमूव सो सिंपली चूज हियर ट्रिम विथ एंड फेस लुक दिस थिंग्स गोइंग टू रिमूव से ओके एंड हियर सी इफ यू डोंट लाइक दिस वन स्केच कन्वर्ट एंटिटी एक्सक्लूडेड कट एंड मेक इट थ्रू ऑल ओके so it gives you a perfect aesthetic for this look it aesthetic fine let's check either we achieved all i think we achieved all right click edit material now come down here cast stainless steel look density 7700 kg per cubic meter apply close now looks if you are not satisfied the look uh, i am going to choose brush nickel okay this looks perfect don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid books thanks for watching